Hello everybody, I'm going to show you today how to set up Seesaw so that student activities are directed to a folder that you are using to organize responses. And I've got two windows I'm going to switch between. I'm starting in my teacher account and I'm in a test class. So in Seesaw, next to class journal at the top, there's a folder icon that can be hard to see sometimes. But when you click on that folder icon, it will show you folders that exist in your class. You need to set at least one folder up before you can do this. To create new folders, you can click on Manage Folders, and then you can create a folder down here at the bottom. Instead of making another one, I'm just going to throw something into my Bell Work folder for today. So I've set that up ahead of time. From the teacher side, I need to assign an activity to my class, and I'm going to tell it to subscribe or to submit all of the student responses to a specific folder. So nothing changes really. I click on Add, and I do Assign Activity. I can pick an activity from my library, or I can create a new activity just like normal. There's one step that changes though. I'm gonna grab this Thanksgiving dinner activity, and I'm gonna click Assign. I'm gonna pick my class, which is testing. Now, normally we would just assign to one class, but to get it to go to a specific folder, we need to click on Edit Students, Folders, and Skills. This brings up a menu where I can choose a student to send it to. I'm gonna to go to the Folders tab, and you can see my folders here. I'm going to select Bell Work. You can also make a folder at this point if you want to. And now that I have my folder selected, I have it going to all students. I'm going to click the check mark, and then I'm going to do assign to one class. And that will assign the activity to my students. So if I go back to my class, you're not going to see anything different. I can see this activity is assigned. You notice that it says Bell Work down here for the folder where that is going. But if I go back to my journal and I click on the folder icon, even though that activity is submitted to the Bellwork folder, there's nothing there. And that's because there hasn't been any student submissions yet. So the activity does not register in this Bellwork folder. So let's get a student submission in there. I'm going to bring a screen over. This is my iPad. I'm signed in as a student under instructional technology. If I go to my activities page, you can see here's my Thanksgiving dinner. On the student screen, it also notes that bell work is where this response will go. So I'm going to add a response. I'm not going to do the entire activity. I'm just going to draw a smiley face to show. Boop. And then I can tap on the check mark to submit. So whatever the student is doing, they can send that submission in. And now as a student, it says this is waiting for teacher approval. And it tells me as a student that this is going to be in my Bell Work folder. So those folders that you set up for your course are also available to the student. I'm in journal. If I can tap on the folder here, I can see Bell Work shows up. Now again, notice if I go to the folder, it says there's nothing there yet because it has not been approved, but it will show the student their submission. If I go back to the teacher side, get rid of that out of the way and I reload the page. I'm on the, I'm on the web on this, I'm just on the Seesaw website. So when I reload the page, I'll see I have a student submission waiting for approval. I can review the post in the unapproved items. It tells me that it's going to be in the Bell Work folder and I can approve it for that student or send my feedback or do whatever. So now if I go back to the class journal and I can click on the folder. Bell work has got one item in it. It is that student's work, instructional technologies work. If I bring my iPad screen back over as a student, I can reload this page. If I tap on the folder icon, I can see I've got one response filtered into Bell work. So that's how to set up and assign folders using Seesaw. Hopefully that's helpful. We have a blog post. It's linked in the description below. You can leave a comment there or on this video and we can send some follow-up uh, instructions or clarifications if you need them. Thanks for watching.